What you guys got another video here for you on do you really need to pay for antivirus software? Now we're going to be talking about free antivirus software against paid antivirus software and what the difference is and whether you need to be buying it. Yes, you can use free antivirus software and uh, if you want to save some money, you can use these free ones. And remember guys, there's no such thing as a free lunch and the free ones do come with some advertisements. So you can see here, this is the free version of Avast. You lose the real site, avoid fake websites, sandbox virtual test files, firewall, and also a ransomware shield is disabled. This is in the premium versions. Also the privacy data shredding, how many times you're gonna use the data shredder, uh, secure line VPN and also webcam shield. You can uh, basically unplug the webcam when you're not using it and also a, uh, anti track premium and also sensitive data shield. So you've got these on here. What these actually do, I don't know, but be honest with you, do you really need them? Clean up premium and also driver up data. Do not disturb mode, which is useful, which is on the free version and software updater. In the menu system, you've got your normal menu system here. So a bunch of these features will be disabled on the free version, but it doesn't mean that the protection uh, with this version against the paid version is gonna be any different. So remember the virus definition database, which the antivirus uses, is gonna be the same whether you're using free or paid. So you're not gonna get any more protection in that sense. Uh, it's just the difference between the free and the paid antivirus software are additional features you get when you pay for, say, your one year license. Now, this is one of my pet hates with free antivirus or free programs in general. It's the aggressive uh, advertising. You can see here because you're getting it for free, they're trying to use aggressive uh, sales tactics here. And you can see there are open doors for more advanced threats. Resolve them now with the maximum security. So you can skip this if you want to, because there's no need to worry about it. It's just all in red and it's trying to uh, scare the user into thinking they're vulnerable if they don't click on the resolve all now. And of course, you know what that resolve all now is gonna take you to. It's gonna take you to the paid version right here, as you can see. Fix your advanced issues now with the Advas premium security. It's a bit scummy and it's a bit uh, clickbaity to get you to click on it and to get you to buy it. Now, personally, I can understand that they're giving you this for free and now they want you to pay for a subscription fee, either one year, two year or three years, and you get a pretty good deal. I can understand all that, but does it need to be so, I don't know, like putting red writing up there and fear mongering people into thinking they are vulnerable and if they don't upgrade they are vulnerable to these attacks you can see here you've got your sensitive data shield your ransomware shield advanced firewall and your real site uh, check when you click on this button here you also get another pop-up box that says upgrade to even better protection protect 10 devices for just 10 pounds more it's just unnecessary aggressive advertising and this is the problem when you're using free now you can stop a lot of this stuff uh, but obviously you've got to understand that they are giving you a piece of software for free and of course it gives them free reign to try to uh, upsell you to a new full version which is what their main goal is so if you don't want to be pestered with pop-up boxes or aggressive ad campaigns like this then obviously you're going to have to go down the paid uh, route. Now the differences between the free and the pay is of course uh, the support you're going to get when you pay for something and also the added features. So if you do need those, then obviously you're going to need to go down the paid route. So let's take a look a little bit further into the free one here, because I know a lot of people do use the free ones. You can see there's a bunch of features inside here with the free one, which works perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You can turn a lot of these nagging uh, advertisements off, um, but there's obviously going to be some that you're going to still have to receive. You can see here, use silent mode and turn off pop-ups and alert messages. Now this means that you might not receive alert messages for things that you want to get. So it's a sort of double-edged sword really. And you can see here, you can go through a bunch of other settings inside here. So you can set it up just the way you want. This will keep you safe, but you'll miss out on some features which might be useful to you. So you need to look at the um, comparisons. Now, some of the comparisons will show what you get for paid and what you get for free. 
Now, obviously, uh, if you need some sort of email uh, scanning software, then sometimes having the premium version will include this in their in their package. And other things like ransomware protection, uh, you can also uh, get the premium package for those and it will add that into the premium pack. Whereas on the free one, you won't get that. But there's ways around that and you can use other things that have got free anti-ransomware uh, software on the market. So you can check those out. So there's many different ways to do things. But if you want it all under one hood, i.e. one program, then obviously paying for a piece of software, uh, paid premium antivirus software is going to be the way to go because it will give you the firewall, the anti-ransomware, the email protection, uh, the you know real-time scanning when you're going on the internet. It sometimes gives you other features as well, which might be useful to you. So have a look at some of the options that are available uh, on the free versions and some of the options that are available on the paid versions. And sometimes uh, dropping a few pounds to get a, a deal on a piece of paid software is probably the best way. Now you can see here silence notifications for third party apps and you can see here silence Avast notifications and there's a bunch of other things you can go into and turn a lot of these things off. So you can run do not disturb mode and it won't uh, give you any sort of notifications about updates and things like that and this is what you can do if you like to have a little bit more uh, quiet time and uh, it can just easily disable that. Now, I will show you some of the paid versions because I think that's only fair that we go through and take a look at some of the differences here. So this is another case of aggressive advertising. You're not imagining it. Your PC is getting slower. No, it's no secret that computers get slower over time, but some of your programs could be making it worse. So when you click on show me, it takes you to your PC uh, suffers from slowdown and clutter. And guess what they're going to offer you? When you click the resolve button, they're going to offer you the Get a Vast Cleanup Premium to resolve your PC issues. And you can get a one year subscription, two year, and a three year subscription uh, for as little as uh, you can see uh, prices on the screen, which isn't a lot. But to be honest with you, do you really need it? No, you don't. It's just another aggressive advertising campaign from a Vast, which I think is not acceptable in my personal opinion. So, that's basically the free versions. Now, of course, when you go down the route of paid versions, we'll take a look at some of the comparisons so you can see what the differences are. So let's go ahead and uh, jump over and have a look here for some of those. So let's head over to Avas's site and take a look at the comparisons here so you can see. Now, all websites will have this information for their antivirus software free antivirus and also premium security single device. You can see the prices there and you can see what you're getting for your money. The protection is exactly the same. The only difference is features. As you can see, avoid fake sites for safer shopping, uh, safely run suspicious apps, and also look out with advanced firewall. You can get a free firewall. Again, you can use a free firewall software or use Windows. A block annoying spam and phishing emails. This is if in case you want to have this, you can have this set up. So if that is a deal breaker for you, you will have to buy the premium version, get an extra layer of ransomware security, stop webcam spying. You could just unplug your webcam and a bunch of other things, as you can see on there. Nothing too crazy, but basically what you're getting there is exactly what I've just mentioned, which isn't a lot. So if you just want a free version, by all means, go with that. But also look out this Christmas for some good deals, because as you can see here, Kaspersky has got a cracking deal on for their paid software. You can see £16 for total security, which will give you one device and it will give you all of the uh, features and more, which means firewall and also antivirus and uh, shopping, all that protection, email. It will come with all the a uh, full package here because you're getting the total security. You can also go down the antivirus route if you don't want all the other stuff, or you can go down the internet security route, whatever you want. And this will be the same for any antivirus software company. Bitdefender's doing the same thing. They've got Bitdefender internet security, Bitdefender total security, and also Bitdefender family pack. And there's a bunch of other features here. You can go through and have a look at these yourself. There's plenty of comparison sites out there. They all have them. And you can also use the free version of Bitdefender as well, which is very good. And I find it less aggressive with advertising and stuff like that. So if you want something that's got less aggressive advertising, then Bitdefender is the one for you. 
whereas uh, some of the other ones are a little bit more aggressive with that pop-up boxes and things like that but just expect uh, a little bit of that to go on because obviously you are using a free piece of software and it's their job to try to to pay for the uh, paid software versions so if you're asking me which ones I would go for I would personally go for the free one um, there's plenty of options available out there um, Bitdefender has a pretty low uh, footprint on the system it doesn't have vast amounts of resources being used and it doesn't uh, nag you with loads and pop-up ads and stuff like that so that's the one i would probably go for if you need some advanced features i.e uh, mail protection and uh, ransomware and stuff like that and you want it all under one hood then go for the paid option there's plenty of them out there to choose from anyway that's going to be about it for this video my name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this one's been useful to you I shall see you again for another video tomorrow bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos Thank <laughs> you.